Welcome back, you guys. All right, you guys, I know I skipped the intro, but I just wanted to go ahead and get straight to the point. So today we are going to do kind of like Halloween, fall inspired nails. Um, so super excited about that. But so today we are going to start off using the Tracy's Black Gel Polish. And we are also using Hemi and Tracy's Nails as well. You guys already know I love these gels. They are super, super pigmented. One coat really goes a long way. Um, right here, you guys could kind of just see me talking to my client, kind of debating what we should do right there. So I really loved the foil nails that we had did on her last time. So I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and just incorporate this somehow into the set. So as you guys can tell, I don't do each nail just... Um, like in an order, I kind of bounce around a little bit and then I kind of get the design process going in my head and I work that way. I promise you guys, if you guys have to work that way too, your clients will not mind whatsoever. None of my, my clients have ever complained about that. Ever since I started, I don't know why, but when it comes to polishing, I have always kind of bounced around until I got a feel for it. Um, just It was easier for me to be able to pick out colors and whatnot. And so what I did on that nail that had the gold leaf, I did end up using some tape to tape off the edge of the nail so I could just have that straight crisp line at the end because I wanted it to kind of be a half and half nail. So these nails ended up being like mostly black. And so I'm going to go ahead and do this hand too. This side I am doing it a little bit different. I'm not doing it the exact same as the other hand just because as it was from the last set, um, it was a little bit different as well. So I just kind of like to switch up the hands. I don't like them to be exactly the same. And then some, some of my clients there are like that as well. They like to kind of switch it up a bit. But since I had already did the other hand, I kind of already had an idea of this hand. So this hand, it came a lot quicker. I didn't have to kind of bounce all over the place because I already knew what um, my goals were after painting the first hand. So I like using the tape. I know it kind of seeps through a little bit with it being gel, but it does allow it to have a lot easier cleanup and to make sure I don't go past where I want to or past a certain point. And it just makes it easier. Cleanup isn't that hard. I just have to get a brush with acetone. And then after I go in there and make that line super crisp, but you guys, I promise you guys the the foil popping out at the bottom is going to look amazing. I can't wait for you guys to see it because honestly it came out so pretty. I wish I would have did a whole set like this just because it would have been really, really pretty. So who knows? Maybe my next set might be inspired by that nail. Who knows? But right here you guys can kind of just see me going in and doing all the black on the nails. I try to be super clean just so I don't have to have a ton of cleanup and stuff. And I like to clean up with a brush, of course, before I put it in the lamp because otherwise it's cured and it's kind of stuck there. So, and I want my client, if they do end up posting pictures after they leave here, I want it to look flawless. I don't want there to be any paint left behind just because it will bother me. <laughs> so I try to make sure that I keep it as clean as possible. Let me know if you guys want to see any fall designs or Halloween designs. I love Halloween. I love being able to do these videos for you guys. Um, I, this was something that we kind of came off of the top of the, our head. I was looking through Google for some inspo and I ended up coming across this pumpkin picture. And so that's why I wanted to use my art inks. I'm gonna go ahead, every time I cure, I am gonna be putting them in the light for 30 seconds. All right, so I'm gonna use the orange in a pre-snail art inks, and I'm also going to be using the red. And I'm gonna go over this polish, the Hemi polish from Tracy's Nails. I'm just gonna go straight over it. I didn't wipe the dispersion layer down, which this, pol this gel polish has little to no dispersion layer. But you're gonna see me go back in with the red. I'm gonna kinda go back and forth and blot over this just to kinda marbleize it. I don't want it to be like um, blotchy 
So I try to mix it all together and I do get acetone. I do have the mixing liquid, but sometimes I already had acetone in the dish, so I just went ahead and used that. And I went and patted the art inks over it. And basically what the art inks are, if you guys are ever wanting to try something like this out, if you guys want to try something more affordable, you guys could also get the inks from Michaels. They have like more affordable. Um, they are smaller bottles, so I mean you guys are able to try a little bit more colors. But they do last you a really long time because these art inks, I've had them for a few years and they lasted me a really, really long time. Okay, you guys, and for this now, I'm super excited about this. This was like, you guys could see me like flash or like moving her nail back and forth just to see the effect that it gives it, just because I love the way it was looking. And so I'm going to get that acetone and I'm going to go ahead and blot a little bit. And I just love the way it looks. And I'm going to go ahead and go to this nail and then do the same thing on this hand. But these art inks, I do like to incorporate them with things just because, <laughs> honestly, these things, they were pretty pricey. So I want to make sure that I do use these just because. And it's also good to be able to show you guys different things that you guys could do with them. Just because, especially as a nail tech, there is so many things that you have in your collection that sometimes it kind of just gets pushed back to the drawer. And for me, these are one of them. I do wish I would use these a lot more just because they are beautiful inks, but I don't feel like I grab gravitate towards them as much as I thought I would when I bought them. <laughs> so I thought I would be using these a lot more, but honestly, I do enjoy using these. They are able to easily give different effects and it's something that you could marble. Marbling is super easy and effortless so if you guys are a beginner nail tech make sure to try this out because it is so easy you might have to go back and forth until you get the look that you want but honestly marbling it there's in my experience there is no wrong way there's just different types and different ways that you could do it and it honestly looks so beautiful okay and right here i was kind of just debating what i wanted to do next and so this right here I wanted to leave in the video just because I do want to show you guys the reason why I love working with gels versus regular polish or I know some people they'll use acrylic paints on the nails to design but this is the reason why. So I did end up doing, I wanted to write spooky or Halloween on the nails and so I started to do so and honestly I really didn't like the way it came out I honestly I it wasn't thrilled about it so I went ahead and just wiped it all the way down and I don't know why I wiped my my plate down just because I could use it in the design that I was just about to do and you'll see it in the clip right now <laughs> but I go ahead and dab some more white and I go back in and I do a spider web but that's the awesome thing about working with gels is that when you're working with gels, if you don't like something, just wipe it down. Like you don't have to pull out acetone, you don't have to pull out anything else. You are just able to wipe it down and call it a day. So I mean, I feel like that's super amazing. I had told my client, I'm gonna try this and if I like it, we'll keep it and if we don't, cause she lets me freestyle on her nails. So I'm able to pretty much do whatever I feel. So I had mentioned to her, I'm like, if I don't like this, I might end up taking it off and we'll try something else. So then we did both agree on doing a spider web, which I love, 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 love the way it came out. And so with the spider webs, you guys don't need to have as many lines going out as I do. Um, this was just the design that I wanted to do for the nails, but you guys could also do a little bit different. Even if you guys feel like you guys want more color on this, um, I even contemplated on doing the the art inks over the white it would be it would have been like a red spider web um but i thought that would look pretty cool too and so right here i went ahead and put the spider web into the lamp for 30 seconds and sometimes with the white i do like to cure it a little bit longer just because with the whites they do take a little bit more just because how much pigment that are in them so you might need to put it in for 60 seconds and then after right here, you guys are going to see that I am doing a spider on this hand. I thought it would be cute to do two different things just so 
the spider webs on one hand and this little cute spider is on this hand. I did have a picture for reference. Um, I can't remember the Instagram name, but if I do find it, I will link or I will put it right here in the video. But the girl had inspired me. I'm sure you guys had seen her on my Instagram, but if you guys do end up finding her please tag her for me just because i cannot find her i try to look through all of my my pictures and for some reason i guess i didn't end up screenshotting usually i'll screenshot and then after i'll be able to tag everybody um that i was inspired by if i was inspired by anybody so um super disappointed that i didn't do that just because i do like giving people their credit for their work um, but yeah, so I went ahead and did this, and so basically what it was is just like doing the spider, you do the bot or you leave the body out, you just work on doing the legs and the arms, and then you, in the next clip you'll kind of see what I end up doing. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and put a matte top coat, I'm going to go ahead and matte top coat everything. I am going to skip through this just because you guys kind of get the point of it, you guys don't really need to see me doing all the nails right here so I wanted to leave this part in the video just because I feel like it's super important it's good to go back and wipe your glove along the edges of the nail and clean up the edge the reason being for this is because sometimes with gel it does tend to lose its shape so I like to do this so it keeps that nice crisp shape so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the light for another 30 seconds and then this is what the nails look like, guys. Oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. I'm so in love with the way they turned out, especially with the matte. They look bomb. Um, but yeah, so right here you're going to see me just go ahead and get my Young Nails top coat. And I am just overlining the spider web. You don't have to be super perfect with this. Even if you forget one line, it's not that big of a deal. I feel like it kind of adds more character to it. To me, I mean, if unless you guys want, by all means, do every, every single line. Um, but if you miss out one, I promise you it's not going to be that big of a deal. Just because it gives it more character, I feel like, in my experience. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the spider. Just overlining everything just with a clear polish. And it looks like I'm not doing much here, but I promise you I am. There is clear polish on there. I'm just trying to make sure not to get too much on the black just because I don't, if I don't get chrome on it, then it is going to be kind of a pain in the butt to try to like make it more matte and stuff. So I try to be very clean when I do this. I do have it on fast forward, so don't think I am painting super fast. I promise you I paint kind of slow, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and in this clip you guys are going to see me get the daily charm number two in this stuff is amazing for chrome i love this stuff and this stuff really lasts forever i just apply it with my finger and then i get a, a fluffy brush and i go ahead and wipe it and then i'm just going to go ahead and dab it on here and i like to cover it up right away just because of the fact i don't want any other dust particles getting in there and making it all weird and I don't want to spill it just because the chromes, they are kind of a little bit pricey. So I just really want to make sure that I take care of my products. But you see me going in right here. I did end up getting a little bit of a bigger brush. So it was a little bit easier for me to do my top coat. And so I went ahead and did my top coat on the nail. And so what I'm going to do after this is I want to get rubbing alcohol and a paper towel just to wipe it down just because the glitter it does really get everywhere and it will linger just because it is such a fine um, pigment it's not a glitter it's a pigment um, but I do want to really make sure that I am clean with it and then with this one I did think about going in with a bigger brush but these lines are way too thin for me to do so it will end up just looking like a hot mess and I really don't want it to look like that so I'm just going to go ahead and take my time and go over every single line but just if you guys want the pigment to stay on there you guys need to make sure that you guys are going over every little part um, I really don't mind the white I like it being like kind of a mixture so that is not a big deal to me but if you guys really want it to like the pigment to stay on every single part you have to make sure that 
you go in and you might have to go even go in a second time just in case so wipe it down and then double check everything and make sure it's good to go and so right here you just see me wiping them down really good there is going to be a little bit of the glitter left over but once they wash their hands it will be completely gone but for the most part i got a majority of the glitter off and right here you guys just see me getting out my resin so today the resin that i'm going to use is my montage nail supplies make sure to try them out i've been using this resin for a really long time now um if you guys want a discount code i do have the discount code it's for lorena 10 l-o-r-e-n-a 10 and you guys really want to make sure to check that out just because it will save you some money. And yeah, I mean, who doesn't like saving money? Especially when I go in there, I end up spending more than I want to just because they always have so many cute things. So if you guys are ever in the area, make sure you guys go in just because I believe they do have more in store than they have online. So they, And they're always getting new stuff. So make sure to follow them on Instagram just because you'll be able to see the different things that they have so every time they get new stock they they're really good about notifying everyone and showing what they have online which is amazing and they always show like what their clients buy there which is nice just because it gives me ideas of what i might want and it kind of gives you like an idea of nail trends so it also helps with that so if you guys don't really follow nail trends and things like that and you need help with that just make sure to follow their Instagram and they'll show you kind of what everybody is buying which is pretty cool just because you kind of know what is going to be coming out and what people are looking forward to and stuff and so right here I did want to incorporate that same large stone that I did for the spider I did want to end up incorporating it on here I like to apply the glue as I go and then it does stay a it is still workable so even though the stones are on there and they're not shifting if you do poke them around they are going to move so keep that in mind if you guys are using this glue if you guys use the resin activator and you spray it over if you want them to stay put right where you put them and you don't want to have to worry about them moving just make make sure that you spray um but since i'm working like i will put them around and i will like kind of like move them from here to there if i need to if i need to shift them but in some cases, the resin, it does dry fast. I do feel like if I am using it on gel, it will end up moving a little bit more. But if it's on a matte gel, it kind of stays in place better. Um, so just keep that in mind. With any resin, I do feel like that is like the same case with a lot of resins. I don't feel like I've experienced different too much. And so right here on this one, I thought about going horizontal, but I was like, you know what, let's go all the way up, or like, let's make a line going up. And I thought it came out super, super cute. Let me know what you guys think of these nails. Are there other things that you guys want to see? What kind of Halloween nails are you guys doing this year? Or what are you looking forward to seeing in nails? Make sure to comment that down below. Just because I want to see what your guys' idea are, give each other some inspo. And with this set, I am kind of going back and forth with some little beaded things as well. So if you guys feel like they look more rounded in some spots. But this is the final look, you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it. Me and my client were having so much fun with the set. She loves Halloween and I love Halloween. And the designs are amazing. So make sure to... Hit that like button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. But don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as usual, I'll be back with more videos. Bye. Bye.